guys, I wish that was my house. Then I wouldn't have to drive to work and I'd be right next to my favorite pool. This is the perfect makeup doing spot, by the way. I don't have anything like this at home. Look, it's got a shell. It's got a nice, big, beautiful moon. Oh, so wonderful. Now I've actually been leaving most of my makeup off these days just to give my face a break and like it saves so much time, it saves money, it's better for your skin, so, but today I'm doing it, I'm doing full makeup, but I was just like, boy, dude, it's been like so long since I did full makeup, it's been such a nice break. <laughs> e is to Christina's, it's like we're touching shoulders. Yeah, I am planning to go to church later after work. I haven't been in so long, but I really, really miss it. So right now it's open swim hours. It's open for students, faculty, and campus residents, but nobody's here swimming. Ah, this pool is so nice. Where is everybody? I legit love being here so much. It's so nice, whether there's people or it's quiet, it's just like, Ah, oh, it's wonderful. Yeah guys, one thing of the many things that I love about working here is when I come into work, 90% of the time or 95% of the time or something like that, it's like I can just come to work and just relax for the first few minutes, like, or the first hour. It depends on what day it is, but it's like, it's so nice not to have people needing things from you right away when you come into work. Like Sport and Health and Lifetime and so many jobs, like you go in and it's just like, boom, people need stuff, you need to be doing all this stuff, you're, you're like stressed, you just, you just got to work and maybe you drove in traffic and you're like, oh, bro, like give me a minute just to get settled and just to relax and just to breathe and that's what I have here. It's so nice. I mean, sometimes like my boss, he needs to set up for a swim meet. So he asked me to do a lot of things, but like, it's usually in like a really nice way, like a respectful way. And I don't mind like when that happens, even if like there's a swim team coming right away or they're here or, you know, you got to set up for a swim meet and there's lots of people. It still is so different than my other jobs. I just, I, I'm trying to explain it, but it's like, it's so nice. It still has like a peaceful, respectful, calm atmosphere. It's also, like the majority of people that work here or that come here, they all are super nice and have such good vibes. I am not used to this at all, but I love it so much. Yeah, so many days that I work here, I go home feeling happier at the end of the day than if I had a day off. It's just like so calm and so beautiful and so peaceful. And it's just like God has given me this job just to say like, you can relax, you can breathe, you're okay, you're safe. Like just something that I've never had before. It's just, it's amazing, it's wonderful. I think some people probably think I'm weird because I literally get so happy. I'm like about to cry and I just keep posting about how I love my job. And it's just like, they probably think I'm just crazy or weird, but it's like, I went through so much for so many years. Guys, I've been crying so much today. <laughs> I completely lost it at work. I was just crying in front of my coworkers and members and everybody just, it's really hard these days. <laughs> and then my boss was mad that I was crying. <laughs> didn't, didn't help, didn't help things at all. <laughs> I'm trying to push through every day, but it's really, really hard. And a lot of people take advantage of me because I'm new at my job and make me do a lot of things and don't let me take breaks. And it's really, really hard. 
Some people aren't even nice to me. They don't even talk to me. Some people only talk to me if they're asking me to do things for them. And it's just really hard every day. I don't think there's ever going to be a day that I don't appreciate this job. It's just such a wonderful gift. Yeah, also, I think I really appreciate it because of everything I went through to start working here. Yeah, so Lifetime actually told me that I needed to get certified in deep water lifeguarding. I was certified in shallow water down to five feet. And so I ended up taking the class here and it was really awesome but it did really challenge me after so many years. Like, I was still able to do everything, but it was just like, it was challenging. So I was like so proud of myself for accomplishing that. And then also getting my CPO, Certified Pool Operator, again, that, bro, that was a lot. So I'm really proud of myself for doing that as well. It's like, I just feel like I earned this job. It wasn't just like Lifetime where I just like applied and got a job like, you know, it was like I had to work for it, so. Other stuff too, just going through with the hiring process and it was like, you know, I had to go get fingerprinted and just like do all this stuff and bro, like I didn't have a printer at home, so like with all the paperwork, I had to, I put the paperwork on a CD and then I took it to Office Depot and then I got them to print it for me and then like I filled it out and then it's like I went through so much just to start working here and I'm just like so happy I'm so proud of myself. Yeah shout out to my brother Matt who gave me this for Christmas It's super cute. One machine swim team girl called it a flippy. Is that what they're called? Flippies? Yeah, I'll show you what it looks like when you turn it inside out. The angry version. <laughs> yeah, guys, one thing I really love about myself is I don't need to constantly be around other people to be happy. Like, I can just occupy myself, I can relax, I can come up with things to do, and just be happy, like, be with myself. Bro, I'm sociable. I love being around other people. I have so much fun. Like, yeah, I am outgoing. I am extroverted. Not 100% of the time, but a majority of the time. Yes, I love friends. I love people. The vent is blowing my hair. <laughs> yeah, but I have the ENFP personality. And one thing about us is we need that solitude. We need that space sometimes. Like, if I'm around people 24 seven, like too close, like it's just like, mm, I feel like I can't gather my thoughts. I can't like truly relax. I just, <laughs> look at my hair. I just, I need that space sometimes, especially like if I've had a long day and I've been around people the whole day, like a bunch of people. Also, I really feel the energy of people. So I'm very aware like of other people's energy and if it's like, like I can just perceive things and I can feel it. Like I can feel if people are going through something. Oh guys, this lady was just here. She was so super cute. She is here with the kayaking group and she got here super, super early just to like figure out which door she comes in, like where she should park and stuff. And so I was like showing her around and telling her about it. And it's just like so cool when you go out of your way like to do something extra to help somebody. Like there, I feel like there's like so many opportunities in our day where we can just like, you know, be in ourselves and just ignore other people or we can like go out of our way to help them. And it's always worth it when we do that. Yeah guys, I wanna just leave you with this motivational thought, okay. No matter what situation you are dealing with, everything can turn around for the better. So just relax, just pray, just give it to God, envision a positive outcome, and watch things start to change. So yeah, stay motivated. Stay motivated. 
Also, guys, one more thing. It is so powerful when you pray. And not just pray in your head, but you walk and you speak it out loud and you just like envision it. You give your heart to God. You give your desires to God. Like you pray for people, you pray for things, but you just like, you declare it out loud. It's like so beautiful and so amazing. So I just, I do that in this place. Like I pray for people. I pray that God will place angels in here. I just, I like, it's so amazing. It's so powerful when you pray for a specific place or specific people and you just believe that God is going to move and good things are going to happen. It's just so amazing and so beautiful. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Guys, I want to show you something. Okay, so I got another float. Woohoo! I just finished setting it up. It's super awesome. <laughs> I'm laughing because I was like trying to find a place to store it and it's just like I was like where where can I store it where can I store it so I put it here on the shelf and then I put the donut float on top of it <laughs> I'm just laughing I'm like because <laughs> my boss is gonna come back here and he's gonna be like what are all these floats that keep appearing like what, what is Christina doing <laughs> He's gonna like come back here and be like, huh? <laughs> but this one is super nice. It's super comfy. I haven't tried it in the water yet, but like I didn't want to right now because I'm not wearing a swimsuit and I know like, bro, I'm gonna get these leggings wet. Like if I try it in the water, but it's just like, I was sitting in it for so long. It's just super comfy. So yeah. Hey, we got some floats up in the house. Woohoo! All right, you know what? For you guys, I'm gonna try it in the water. Woohoo! Let's go. Ah! Yeah! Boy, okay. Uh, if we can make it through the storage room. Do, do, do. Okay.
Yeah, guys, it's actually super fun. It's actually super cozy. Whoa! Ah! The water is cold, though, man. The heater's been broken. It's been like, I think it was like 76. It might have been colder today, actually. Whoa! Whoa! This is super fun, though. Oh, I did so much cleaning today. I'm just like, oh, I'm so tired. So tired, I could just fall asleep. I just fall asleep here in the middle of the pool. Hey. I should try to make it to the other side. Uh, we're not going very far. Might have to use the lane line. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know if we can do it. Ooh. Hey, I'm so glad I finally get to use my floats. I've had these floats for so long and I've never set them up. Hey, we're going across, woohoo. I was letting one kid play with my donut float the other day and he's having so much fun. So I'm glad I get to use them and people get to use them. Finally, woohoo. All right, <sighs> almost across, almost across. The long journey across uh, the lane. Uh. Yeah, guys, also, I wanted to let you know that I'm deleting my Facebook and Twitter accounts. So I'm deleting Twitter just because I hardly ever use it and I just want to cut back on social medias in general. But Facebook, I did so well without it for so many years and I just, I recently made a new account just to see like if it would be good for me. And there were some good things about it, like it's a good way to remember birthdays, but just overall in general, it was affecting me more in a negative way than a positive way. So yeah, I'm trying to live more in the real world, you know, and it's enough like having YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, I'm gonna keep all of those. Like YouTube is enough, but <laughs> I want to have other ways to connect with my fans, but I really don't think I need Twitter or Facebook. Hey guys, just remember how healthy it is to take a break from your phone sometimes and just not check social medias. like. Just live in the real world, take a break. You know, there are good things about it, but don't let it just control you and, you know, be constantly checking it all the time. Remember to just take a break sometimes and realign yourself. Yeah, also, I think I've talked about this before in another video, but just, I don't like to check my phone when I am not in a good state. If I'm feeling stressed or overwhelmed, I don't like to check my phone and answer my messages. I just, I do it as a favor to people and to myself, but I like to wait to answer my messages until I'm in a good state. So that can be something maybe helpful for you guys. Like, don't feel like you always have to answer your phone, like right away, you know? Like, don't be controlled by your cell phone. You control it. You can choose to take a break for a whole day and not check your phone if you want to. guys it's another day at Madeira and I am cleaning 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 because machine didn't come today so I am just cleaning 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 so much and bro like I literally organized so much in here and also guys I am super super hyped guess what I found guess what I found I literally found a refrigerator. I'm so happy. I've been wanting a fridge for here so bad. It was so amazing. It was like buried under a bunch of stuff. So I checked if it works and it does and I cleaned it out. I'm about to set it up for me and my coworkers. Hey. Super, super hyped. Yay.